Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hey everyone, it is I, Razor012YT, and today we are going to be teaching you how to play Dwarves vs. Zombies and getting you started on this game. So everyone, how do you get started? So, when you first spawn as a dwarf, or if you're a new player, you'll probably get a basic axe. And you're going to probably ask someone, Razor, how do you get started? Well. Good question. You go to the trees. Yeah. To simply chop wood, just click the tree like a couple of times and it'll eventually fall down on itself. Yeah. It takes a while to chop a tree if you have a basic axe, but... Oh, it one just grew right in front of me just now. Look at that. Free wood. Well, basically, all you need to do is get a couple of wood with the basic axe. And then you will unlock a basic scythe, in which case you get to get food. Now, how do you get food to be honest, and how do you complete that quest? You have to click the wheat stalks a couple of times and try to get like 10 to 20 food in order to actually, in order to actually, you know, mm, unlock the pickaxe. Now what does the pickaxe do? Well, to be honest, you can go mine stuff, am I right? So anyways, uh, once you unlock the pickaxe, there are actually two mines you could go to. One in the city and one outside the city. I recommend you go to the first one because it's more closer. Now in this mine, you could actually mine coal, gunpowder, and stone as well. But I gotta warn you. You, you're going to need a couple of stone before you actually go on to the next thing, so... You're gonna need that as well in order to complete the tutorial, so yeah, you, you need that. But, this is all to build up your skills and get the hang of the game, because... From there, you're going to need to learn how to grind for stone in the mine. Yeah, yeah you know, by mining and also getting wood, using your axe. Because you're going to be using that as building material for your houses and for your other plots. Yeah. Now, why did I mention plots? Good question. I'll explain to you right now. In Dwarves vs. Zombies, you're going to definitely need a plot in order to actually get by in, in this, let's say, game. Now, all you need is just basically one plot. You could purchase it with your gold. And by then, you will have a couple of roll buildings. Yeah, let me go explain them. So, the cheapest one you could get is the house, but it doesn't really do anything. Except protect you from the weather and protect you against zombies, bandits, and whatnot. But now we're going to get to the good buildings. The school building is, yeah, you basically turn on a baldy. It's actually the least, the second least expensive building. Followed by shrine, which you get a <clears throat> a wand to to zap zombies with. The guardhouse is basically you get a pointy sword and you could swing it around people. The workshop, you could basically uh. You get less hunger loss from the tools, you can craft weapons, gadgets, and fun stuff. And you become a craft dwarf, but today I'm just gonna teach you how all the mechanics work so that I can do other stuff as well. Yeah. Now after you built your plot, follow the quests because I can't really explain in depth onto each, qu onto each quest because if I do that, the video is gonna be too long, and y'all gonna, and y'all gonna say, "Razor, the tutorial is too long." Yeah, you're gonna be complaining like that if I make it too long. So let's make this quick. Yeah. Anyways, you're not just limited to the city itself because you're free. Th th this entire place is a giant map itself. So feel free to explore it if you can. Yeah. Now, what's there to explore? The first thing you're gonna see when you come out is the outside of the city. 
And the outside of the city is basically littered with plots. Now let's go explore the other places that I want to show you, yeah? Okay guys, so over here is the bandit camp. Why does that have a giant wall? I don't know. Maybe because they don't want the dwarves, the guardsmen running into the bandit city and spawn killing them at every moment. And in logic, if you just put a camp there, the bandits will just, uh, the bandits will just keep getting spawn killed until bandits are not playable, so, yeah. That's why you can't, that's why there's a wall there. Now, currently it is nighttime and the zombies are out. There's one right there. Now, the main way you to defeat them, stand on them. That's all you do. You stand on them and make a choo-choo train with them. Now, the zombies in this game, um, you could easily... I, yeah, like I told you, you could just stand on them and have them stop so you could have other players kill them for you. Moridev, please fix this. You can literally defeat zombies this way. It's too OP. Fix, please. Anyway, stepping off of the zombies, there is more plots right to my left. Yeah, you could see them to my left. Further go into my... I'm looking forward right here. There's the zombie headquarters. They wear their red jumpsuits, brown jumpsuit, and blue jumpsuit. And yes, they're actually here to eat the dwarves' brains and turn them into zombies. Now, what about the dwarves? Technically, here is one thing to know. If you die, you lose a life. Now, by default, you get four lives. But, since I got myself killed during a lightning storm, it's now three. Here's my thing. Do not waste your lives just doing stupid things, because if you do, you end up like, and you end up turning into a zombie, and you can't come out tonight. That's the main thing about it. I'll make a tutorial on zombies in another video. Now, what's my final thing about this game? Slimes. Now, what are slimes used for? They're used by merchants to sell for higher prices. And they are also used to make pets. Now, you're going to need slimes in order to make pets. And to do that, you need to get a musket or a sword to kill these things. Punching will not do anything. You will just get damaged a lot. Yeah. Now, I got nothing else on my getting started tutorial, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, shout out to MoriDev once again for shouting me out on Twitter. Yes, the Twitter account I replied to you, that's my real account. Yeah. Now, anyways, back to the ending. So, if you have... If you like this community, join my Discord below. Yeah, it's a bit sleepy at the moment. There's not many people in there, but we appreciate if you join. And more people is good. Now, anyways, I'm going to end it here. So, good day, good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.